Uh, so this is example seven, chapter 11 again. And we have this ultimate consolidation settlement four feet that's given. So that's SC final basically. So you know this SC final. Okay. So we're asked to determine how long will it take to reach 90% degree consolidation and then the time where the consolidation time uh, settlement at T equals to five years. Okay. And the layout, the soil profile is given in this figure. We have our consolidating layer. So that's the saturated clay layer, 100 feet. And then in the weight of consolidation calculation, a key information you need to determine is that HDR. Uh, just as a reminder, HDR is the maximum drainage distance. So basically the longest distance water travels to drain in your system. And for this setup, we have sandy fuel on top. So that's basically permeable. And we have an impermeable bedrock layer at the bottom of this clay layer. Okay, so that's this impermeable layer. This means the only way water drains is through this sandy fuel on top. So that's the direction of drainage and the maximum drainage distance. That's the definition of HDR. So for this problem, that's HDR. It's the thickness of the consolidating layer, and this is because it's one-way drainage. So once you get the one-way drainage, this HDR value, and then for one and two, okay, so I'm going to show my solution. So this is a solution for example seven. So the first question asks for time T to reach 90 degree consolidation. So we're given this capital U of 90%. And from table 11.7, that's Tosagi's solution. So let me show you table 11.7. So we have this U of 90%, then the corresponding time factor T sub V 0.848. So that's how I get this value here. It should be, uh, so I'm using just two digits, but it's 0.848. In HDR, maximum drainage distance, we already showed uh, this is 100 feet, the thickness of the clay layer. This is a one-way drainage case. And then substituting into that small t equation, we get, the, the time it takes to reach 90% degree consolidation about 71 years. Okay. So that's the uh, first part, question one. And this C sub V, 120 feet square per year, that's given in the problem statement. So this is C sub V. So that's part one of this problem, uh, 71 years. And then part two, this is reverse. So you're given time t. So we're given t of five years. And we want to find out the settlement at that time. So start from t sub v, time factor calculation, you substitute c sub v, that's 120, small t, five years and then HDR, 100 feet. If you substitute all these values into this T sub V, time factor is 0 0.06. So that's the time factor. And then we're going to use that table 11.7 again. So for T sub V of 0 0.06, let me show the uh, time uh, 11.7. So we have 0.06. Okay. So it's in between these two values, basically. Okay. And if you do interpolation, it's actually pretty close to about 28%. So that's how I get this 28%. Okay. Again, if you want to be really accurate, you can do a linear, in linear interpolation between these two values but it's gonna be very close, 28%. So that's degree consolidation, 
And then the settlement at this time, we use the definition of U, which is SC at small t over the SC final. And SC final, we know this is four feet. And this four feet is given in the problem statement. And substitute these values. So this is basically that capital U. And this four is uh, SC final. And you'll get a final or a settlement at T of five years of uh, 1.1 feet.